If you're going on a cruise to Nassau, Bahamas and thinking about staying on the cruise ship, don't. I'm going to share with you the tips and things that you absolutely need to know and how you can spend your absolute perfect day in port. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now we recently went on a cruise that stopped in Nassau, Bahamas and being completely honest, we were doing some research about what to do in Nassau and we got a lot of this advice. Stay on the cruise ship, it's not even worth it getting off. But because it was actually our first time visiting Nassau, I have a little bit of a philosophy. I like to see a port at least once before I can judge for myself. So I was on the lookout for some really good excursions. And as well, I did want to make sure that, well, I did choose something that was safe, that was clean, and that was also something very beautiful. So I'm going to share with you what we did in Nassau, Bahamas, as well as some tips that you need to know in order to make it a day that you feel really comfortable in the port. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Ready. Let's get started. Now, if you're going on a Bahamas or even a Caribbean cruise, there's a good chance that your cruise ship will be stopping in Nassau, Bahamas. And an interesting fun fact, prior to the pandemic, Nassau, Bahamas was actually the most visited by cruise passengers, the most visited destination in the world. And this continues to be a very, very busy cruise port. Now, the nice thing about the Nassau Cruise Terminal is the location really is right in the downtown Nassau area. So you can walk to quite a lot of things. However, like I mentioned, it is quite busy. So when you do get off the cruise ship, you will notice there is construction going on. They are building a new cruise terminal and there is a lot of hustle and bustle. Now, personally, I never felt unsafe. However, just like in any area, any city where it is quite crowded and people are quite close to you, you do want to use caution, keep your items close to you. And when people try to sell you things or are trying to talk to you and trying to maybe hassle you just a little bit, just say a firm no thank you and keep walking. Now, my rule of thumb when I visit a new destination is to book an excursion, whether it's through the cruise line or on my own. And our three choices in this case were Atlantis, were Blue Lagoon, which I've heard a lot of good things about, and as well, Margaritaville Resort. Now, personally, I am a really big fan of Margaritaville. And in the end, looking at the price for all of the different options and what we could do there, we opted for Margaritaville. Now I'll share with you some of the things that you'll probably want to know about the Margaritaville Resort, including some frequently asked questions and maybe some even pros and some cons. And I'm also going to share with you something that you could do that doesn't cost any money. That's actually free if you want to do that instead of Margaritaville Resort, but it is really close by. So the Margaritaville Resort is only about 15 minutes walk from the cruise port and it is really quite a new resort, just about six months old at the time that I'm filming this video. Now we booked this resort on the website resort for a day. This video is not sponsored, but that is where I booked it. You might be able to book directly on the Margaritaville Resort website. So you can also check that out. And I did see that they seem to be also taking people in for day passes if they did have the availability, but you do want to watch out because they could end up having guests on site and they may not have room for you if you do not book in advance. Now, when we booked this online, we did need to pay a small deposit and the remaining balance was due upon our arrival. Now, something to note is they did not accept any cash on site. So we did need to pay with a credit card or a debit card. And as well, don't forget to print out your tickets. Now, before I show you a little bit more about Margaritaville Resort, what there is to do there, what there is to eat there, you're probably wondering, how do I actually get to Margaritaville Resort? So you have two choices. You can either take a taxi or you could walk. Now, according to Google directions, it's a 12 minute walk. I would say it's probably about 15 minutes walking at an average pace. And what you're going to do is you're going to walk down at Parliament Road, just to let you know, at the left, there is a little tourist table. The lady that was working there was very, very nice. She provided us with a little map and she told us how to walk there because it was our first time. However, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is super easy. I'm gonna leave a little screenshot of the directions up on the screen, but basically you're gonna walk down Parliament Street. After that, you're going to turn right on Bay Street. You're going to turn left around a road called Navy Lion Road, and then you're gonna make a right on Marlboro Road. You're gonna follow that road right over to the Margaritaville Resort. 
Now, as you do walk over, you'll notice that only the first five minutes of the walk are very busy and bustling with people. After that, it does get a lot more quiet. So once you pass the straw market on the right on Bay Street, it gets a lot quieter after that. Now the Margaritaville Resort itself is absolutely gorgeous. You have the lazy river, you have an infinity pool, you have a beautiful beach with different beach activities that are all included in the price of your resort for a day. Now, some of the things that we absolutely loved at Margaritaville Resort were the Lazy River. We spent a lot of time in the Lazy River. That was really relaxing, really fun. Make sure to bring your waterproof phone case uh, with you for that. And don't forget as well that that is a really good place to keep your cruise card, your credit card, any cash you have, any ID, that is a good place to keep those items safe and secure. Now, if you are interested in that product, I will leave it linked down in the description below this video. Now, something that surprised me was this resort was a lot less busy than other Margaritavilles that I had been to. So even though we had four or I think even five cruise ships in port that day, there were enough chairs for everybody to sit on. It was just absolutely great. And something to note, by the way, is if you did need to have a locker, they do have lockers um, at, I think it was $15 if you did want to rent a locker. Now, an amazing feature on this resort was the absolutely stunning infinity pool. Now, it did take us a little while to figure out how to get up to this, but there are some stairs that will take you to the infinity pool. It is adult only, just to let you know. But the view from here, you could see the cruise ships from here. It was absolutely stunning. And there were also ample lounge chairs in that area. So if you did want an adult only area without the water slide and the lazy river and that kind of thing, then you'll be best off staying in the area near the infinity pool. Now, in terms of fun activities that you just might want to try, there is a really fun surfing pool. So my son really did enjoy doing the surfing pool for, well, several times that he tried it. He just had a really really good time and as well you are located right on an absolutely stunning beach and you have different water activities that are all included with the price of this resort so you can definitely partake in those now something to note and i guess this could be a little bit of a con or a negative is that although this resort is all inclusive in terms of the activities it is not all inclusive in terms of the food and the drinks. So they do sell food and they do sell drinks right on site. There were, I believe it was three different bars. Now, if you did want to save a little bit of money on bars, you could definitely go down uh, the beach and you could find some cheaper drinks. But otherwise on the resort, the drinks were about, I'd say between 10 and $14 a drink. So about average or so, I guess for a lot of different resorts. And the food also was probably between like $14 and $16 for the majority of plates. Now we had some pretty amazing drinks and some pretty good food. So I'm gonna screenshot the menus so that you can take a look at this and I'll screenshot some of the drinks as well. We definitely did enjoy our day here. Now something that I didn't know, but I think could be a good tip for you if you are going there, is they actually provide towels for you. So I didn't actually need to bring my towels from the cruise ship and drag them along, but I did. But they actually did have towels that we were able to use. Now something else that you should know is even though this is a Margaritaville resort, at the time that we did go there, the Margaritaville restaurant, so with like the cheeseburger in paradise and that kind of thing, the Margaritaville restaurant wasn't open yet. So we did sort of have the hotel or the resort food. It was very good. I had some fish and chips and I think we had some chicken tenders and some things like that that we shared. It was all really good, but it wasn't the regular Margaritaville food. And a little tip if you are ordering food is try to order before you're really hungry. It did take our order a good 45 minutes or so, maybe even a touch longer. So do remember, especially if they're busy, try to order your food a good half an hour to 45 minutes before you think you'd like to eat. Now, I mentioned earlier in this video that I was also gonna share with you the free option that is right nearby. And this free option is the Junkanoo Beach. So the Margaritaville Resort is located right on the extreme right end of the beach. And if you walk further down to the left, you're gonna have the Junkanoo Beach. So basically they are attached. Now we did walk down the beach cause I wanted to see what it was like in case this was maybe a good option to come back in the future because of course there's no cost to it and if you didn't really want the resort and you just wanted the beach this is definitely a good option but i'm going to give you my honest opinion the water was absolutely beautiful so if you were there for the beach for the color of the water for the sand 
gorgeous, definitely go. However, in terms of the beach amenities itself, there were some bars, some restaurants, um, some chairs that you could rent. But in our experience, from what we saw, a lot of them were either looking very decrepit, old, damaged. So not necessarily where I would want to sit on the chairs. And as well, there was a lot of garbage around on the beach. So it just didn't look that clean and well kept not as much so as the Margaritaville Resort area and beach. Now we had a fabulous time at the Margaritaville Resort and we really did enjoy our day in Nassau Cruise Port. So I'm so happy that we did not stay on the cruise ship. My only maybe regret is not trying any conch fritters because I wasn't able to find them at the resort. And by the time we were heading back, I ate too much and drank too much and I was getting back on a cruise ship. But please let me know if you've been to Nassau before, what are the things that you think people should do? What did you do that you really enjoyed? Please let me know down in the comments below. And if you are thinking of going to the Margaritaville Resort, please let me know as well down in the comments. Now, if you are getting ready for a cruise, I'm gonna leave a video right after this one all about the things to do in the last 60 days before your cruise. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.